I told you I don't like being recorded when we do it. Look, I gotta go. There's somebody in my office. Okay. I can't. I love you, too. I'm... Okay. Hey, guys. It's Nick's ASMR. The Office Edition. As you can see, I have my office fit on with the black suit like Michael. I'll just hang that up. Of course, I'm wearing my Dwight t-shirt tucked into my jeans in good Dwight fashion. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, like I said in that fun little intro, I have The Office 1. some quotes out of it and discussing maybe a little bit here and there about what is one of the greatest TV shows on earth. So sit back, relax, and let's Number four. 
numero quattro numafia cat everything I have I owe to this job this stupid wonderful boring amazing job who says everything I have I owe to this job this stupid wonderful boring amazing job if you said Jim Albert you are on a safari in Africa and my cousin Mufasa was um he was trampled to death by a pack of uh, wildebeest and uh we all took it really hard <laughs> if you said Ryan Howard Ryan Howard Ryan Howard Ryan Howard Ryan Howard you are super well, but how could you not be? Everybody loves The Office. <laughs> Next up, I'm glad Michael's getting help. He has a lot of issues, and he's stupid. I'm glad Michael's getting help. He has a lot of issues, and he's stupid. Stupid. I'm glad Michael's getting help. He has a lot of issues and he's stupid. If you said Phyllis Lappin or Phyllis Lappin Vance, depending on the season, then you are correct. And I'm actually not sure if she was married to Bob Vance yet at this point in the show. The next 
next one. It's true. Around this office in the past, I've been a little abrupt with people. But the doctor said if I can't find a new way to relate more positively to my surroundings, I'm going to die. It, it's true. Around this office in the past, I've been a little abrupt with some people. But the doctor said if I can't find a new way to relate more positively to my surroundings, I'm going to die. That was a, a pretty bad impression, but A, I can't impersonate this person normally, and do doing it quietly is quite a challenge. But if you said that that was my horrible impersonation of Stanley Hudson, Stanley Hudson, Stanley Hudson, then you, my friend, Next up, the Dunder Mifflin stock symbol is a DMI. Do you know what that stands for? Dummies, morons, and idiots. Because that would you have to be to own it. And as one of those idiots, I believe the board owes me answers. The Dunder Mifflin stock symbol is DMI. Do you know what that stands for? Dummies, morons, and idiots because that's what you have to be to own it. And as one of those idiots, I believe the board owes me answers. If you said, our friend all the way on the left, Oscar Martinez, then you are correct. Somebody said, Dwight Mercy killed Angela's cat. Dwight Mercy killed Angela's cat. Who said that line? If you said, Bam Beasley, Bam Beasley, Bam Beasley, Bam Beasley. Station. 
I think I added a word in there at the beginning. I run a small fake ID company for my car with a laminating machine that I swiped from the sheriff's station. I run a small fake ID company for my car with a laminating machine I swiped from the sheriff's station. Who said that? Oh, the sheriff's station may have thrown you off if you said Dwight Schrute. Unfortunately, the correct answer is Greed. access to a sheriff's station, then volunteer deputy Dwight K. Schrute surely had the means to commit the crime. Next up, so this is my life until I win the lottery, or Pam finally writes that series of young adult books. Obviously, here talking about Pam is Jim Albert. Jim Albert. Jim Albert. Let's move on to one that may be a little bit more difficult. A little bit more difficult, a little bit more difficult. If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. If you said Kevin Malone, it's Stanley Hudson. Stanley Hudson says, if I don't have some cake soon, I might die. How are you doing so far? Are you doing well? Like I said, and I think I've said in another video, I love, 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 love The Office. I've watched The Office in its entirety, probably probably about 10 or 11 times now. Uh, I wish I had to get exact count. But I absolutely love The Office. Guess what? I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally I hit somebody with my car. So sue me. That of course. I'm sitting in his office right now. Michael Gary Scott. Michael Gary Scott. Michael Gary Scott. Isn't it such a nice office? With my little my window, and it, I like watches. This one isn't a Seiko, but I have my, uh, my certificate for my Seiko timepiece, which is authentic. I know, because it's up there on my wall. Well, Michael's wall, that is. <laughs> Right now, this is just a job. If I advance any higher in this company, this would be my career. And um, if this were my career, I'd have to throw myself in front of a train. Right now, this is just a job. If I advance any higher in this company, this would be my career. And if this were my career, I'd have to throw myself in front of a train. That is Jim Alpert, of course. That says that Jim Alpert. Jim Alpert. And in this picture, he is standing next to Cornell graduate Andy Bernard. The next quote for you to guess. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families 
suffer every year. This is one of the uh, the most famous lines of The Office, I would argue, especially amongst The Office fans. Identity theft is not a crime, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. It does not take an expert to know that Dwight Schrute is the character that said that in the episode where Dwight, I'm sorry, Jim, comes into work dressed as Dwight. Um, and in that same interaction between Dwight and Jim is um, probably the most famous line from all of The Office, which I'm not going to say because I haven't actually read through all of this book, and it may come later, but let me know right now in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Next up, do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. I enjoy being liked. I have to be liked. But it's not like this compulsive need to be liked. Like my need to be praised. Do I need to be liked? Absolutely not. I like to be liked. I enjoy being liked. I have to be liked. But it's not like this impulsive need to be liked. Like my need to be praised. Uh, this line is said by the one and only Michael Gary Scott. Michael Gary Scott. Michael Gary Scott. Dressed in the or hottest in the office, which 
has gone to Ryan Howard and Pam Beasley. Um, I think smelliest bowel movement went to Kevin Malone. Um, and they normally hold it at a Chili's interrupting the whole restaurant. Nobody wants them to be there. Everybody is annoyed. Yet I guess, I don't know if it's ever explained in the show, but they don't rent out the whole Chili's. So there are other patrons. <laughs> As they have a, a microphone and Dwight Schrute playing the flute, and, or not the flute, the, the recorder, and it's uh, quite an interesting time. On to the next quote. Oh, I don't think it's blackmail. Angela just does what I ask her to do, so I won't tell everyone what she's... Again, I can't read. Let's start over. Oh, I don't think it's blackmail. Angela just does what I ask her to do, so I won't tell everyone that she's cheating on Andy with the white. I think for it to be blackmail, it would have to be a formal letter. I tried to imitate Phyllis's little smile, and uh, I'm not uh, not sure how that went. But uh, as I said, that is Phyllis Lappin Vance. Next up is... to know that every organization thrives when it has two leaders. Go ahead, name a country that doesn't have two presidents, a boat that sets sail without two captains. Where would Catholicism be without the popes? <laughs> like some of these lines in this show are just too good to not like. Uh, that is another one of my personal favorites. Uh, because I do like Oscar Martinez likes to use uh, excessive amounts of sarcasm. And I can't find a picture of Oscar, but uh, we've already seen him. I have too many toys on my desk. Well, too many toys on Michael's. I'll give you a freebie. The next quote is from Michael Scott. When Michael says, An office is for not dying. An office is a place to live life to the fullest, to the max. Two, an office is a place where dreams come true. It's, um, it actually is emotional from time to time. Obviously, Michael is uh, supposed to be a funny, light-hearted character. Um, but he does really, really love the company. He really loves his job. Um, and to see some of the hardships they go through in the show, occasionally, I can, uh, can wrench a tear from my eye. Especially um, when Michael retires and they sing 9,986,986,900,900. Anyway, that song with all the minutes. You hit me with your car. You help me get off drugs. I watch you when you sleep. I forgive you for kissing me. 9,900,000. 86,000 minutes. That's how many seconds that you've worked here. Or minutes. What? You know what? You get the point. That was quite the struggle bus. Next up, see if you can guess who this quote is from. I don't talk trash. I talk smack. They're totally different. Trash talk is hypothetical, like your mom is so fat that she can eat the internet, but smack talk 
is like happening right now. Like, you're ugly, and I know it for a fact, because I've got the evidence right there. Except you're not ugly. You are beautiful. You're handsome. You are good looking. You are lost. The end I added just to lighten the mood a little bit with some affirmations. But if you said Kelly Kapoor, then you are right. You are right. You are right. 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 Next up, life is short. Drive fast and leave a sexy core. Dwight 
says, PowerPoints are the peacocks of the business world. I'll show no meat. The next one. My roommate wants to meet everybody because I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm making Dwight up. He is very real. That is said by My roommate wants to meet everybody because I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm making Dwight up. He is very real. That was said by Jim Albert. Jim.